hello and welcome to the channel how are you doing i hope you're doing good today i'm not bringing you good news but um the news today is actually very sad i have to tell you because a lot has been going on with regards to the downfall or would i say the demise of this particular group called the chain mark group and if you are nigerian i think you know about this particular establishment that has or would I say investment portfolio or investment management company or whatever they call themselves. Anyway, um, let me play you a short clip to tell you who they are and what they do. Construction, real estate, loans, farms, and agricultural produce, transportation, partnerships, medical supplies, food, and logistics. The Chinma Group is run by a dedicated group of individuals from different walks of life who are committed to delivering excellence quality and swift services for customer satisfaction. Our offices are all over Nigeria, in New York, and also in the UAE, just to show how serious we are. Uh, now, of course, I wouldn't play this clip if it was before this whole thing happened. If not, people will say I'm promoting or would I say I'm now their influencer. But I want you to learn from the story of, the, of how this group itself um, started and how it went um, down. Now, this group here, um, like you heard in the video, they are into a lot of different things. But it now seems to be more of like the main thing they were now really, really into is... Um, securities exchange why am i saying so is because a lot of people invested their monies in this particular group now you can read up a whole lot about them on the internet so maybe i might leave links or you could just google chin man group chin mark group and the whole situation around them here is the ceo of the group and he's been said to have disappeared since after issues about the group has you know come online and they have been unable to pay back people that had invested their hard-earned money into the company hoping to get some great amount of returns and nigerians have indeed reacted to most of these things which i'm going to be looking at right here in this video now the first news i have here reporting or talking about this is how a woman who invested her husband's 30 million naira dies after chin mark the ceo disappeared now of course if you heard in the video i played just before now they have branch in um the US and then they have in Dubai and of course they have been doing their trade also in Dubai where I think in my opinion based on the way I look at things and the way I've been reading the comments of situations around this that the CEO himself has traveled all the way to Dubai but I want you to learn something from this whole thing you know sometimes when we come on social media we watch videos of comedians and because even the people themselves like these faces will look familiar to you i guess who were involved in the whole promotion of this particular investment portfolio and all that are people that are popular and they have people's attention to themselves and i always tell you something attention is currency for example let's say right now you're watching bmo george a lot of people get to like me which i always tell you guys in the comments please i tell you from my heart I don't want you to like me don't like me don't hate me okay you are free to hate me but i don't want someone to like like me or whatever because tomorrow i might fail you tomorrow i might disappoint you tomorrow i might say something you don't like and you will then start you know feeling heartbroken or whatever just watch me for the sake of watching and then just go or whatever you get but for those who decide to follow my platform or follow me i think to a great extent you do that because you want to see more of me but i would be sorry if tomorrow i get to offend you because why i'm saying this is watch this little clip that's it what's the opinion of contractors i uh, hear me well some contractors are like the devil they came to steal to kick and to destroy how can i ask you how strong is my foundation you are telling me it is god that hold the foundation it is that thing god that will pay your balance but that's oh it. don't cut god. me hear me well some of them are very heartless how can you use fake materials to bid for me just to make excess profit if the building now collapses and keep it tomorrow what will be your profit i have spent over 10 million and we are still in the foundation level you are telling me i should not hurry but if the foundation is destroyed what will the writers do they are just will kill you hey the same you that supplied me materials on site during the day is still coming like a thief in the night to steal the materials to your own site well done jesus christ of nazareth you deceived me you showed me a design done by tima group i was so impressed i give you the job now what i'm seeing is not what you show me i will show you how can i pass through the toilet to enter my kitchen how can i pay you to build my house for me and you start your own at the same time now your building is a roofing level mine is a foundation level you are even giving the choice that praise god god has done it for you again with my materials so me i don't have god thief 
That's why I recommend every one of you to Chimak Group, Chimak Homes and Shelter. They are like a wise woman. They help you build your home without Maggi and you hold your peace from start to finish. In your presence, in your absence, what they show you is what they deliver to you. But for some, the more you look, the less you see. Chimak Group also offer loan services. If you need a loan, in 24 hours, they will give you a loan to pay in a time that will favor you. Chimak Group are just so reliable, dependable. I'm very good. I wish the government can just give this country as a project to Chima Group to construct. A 24 hour Nigeria would be whole again. Chima Group. Oh. I never expected. Now, of course, that is a comedian himself doing his job. Of course, he's been paid to promote the company. And that's one thing you have to know about social media. Influencing itself is a job. Most times, content creators, influencers, whatever, in whatever niche, most times they don't do their due diligence when it comes to whatever they promote on their platform last time i was hearing people saying that um um a colleague or someone i know on the platform um pararan that he was promoting a ponzi scheme on his platform and i've been seeing some you know sometimes you go on instagram you see comedians themselves talking about this particular bitcoin exchanging this and that and then this particular platform here and there which are you hear a whole lot about them even most times some of them might even go as far as even you know sponsoring some shows like maybe you have the big brother nigeria or some you know things happening in 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 on the social media space to build that attention because like I always tell you attention is currency and most times they get into people that have your attention to use their platform to promote they get their money into their pocket for promoting and most times when once they now get you into them and then you get to invest your money and all that in the end what happens you yourself that is promoting that your fans will come for you for the backlash so seeing this particular news happening and there are lots of stories even on their facebook page i was going through it they had turned off limited their comment section on facebook so even when they post things and say oh out of the four thousand something people that had invested or something they have been able to pay 500 since then what are you seeing this as this particular situation right now that means this might just be an entire scam that was used to get money from people before it was a uh, mmm before it was um money here and there let me even show you like people actually worked in this company i must tell you and this is them here as at 2019 that means this particular company has been in existence for at least two to three years if i'm not mistaken and people really did have hope in it let me even play this video right here of them reaching um their customers or would i say those who invest with them a merry christmas Uh, but right now you're not you're not you know they show love oh chin my group people you know they show love you're not showing love right now because a lot of people look at this particular news now of people losing their life and committing suicide and people because of bp i was reading one on vanguard where the person actually invested the father's um, is it trust fund or would i say gratuity funds and now the father has died of bp like do you know how much if someone just 30 million naira is not 30 million kubo this is real money that has been invested in that particular company and where is the boss to be found nowhere but let me read some of the things that people themselves had to say because it's very heartbreaking me sharing this because i want you watching me right now to be able to learn from this nobody everything where you go see comedian promote or maybe you go see one um celebrity or maybe person where you know promote be say ah because that, that's the thing when once you want to promote your issue or whatever it is you are, you are you are into you look for where there is attention where can they get attention they go to those that are that have following pay them and they do their job but in the end you yourself that is promoting this thing do you do your own due diligence or something or are you just interested in the money they are going to pay you per view or pay you per post or something you understand because in the end your fans love you that's why i'm very careful when it comes to things i accept to add volume to that's why most times i decide on my own choice to talk about certain things so that tomorrow if they are coming for me or whatever i know that i was the one that made the decision not because someone had pushed me to do it i don't know if you understand so it's very important that before you just follow a, a particular influencer to do something because they are doing their job and they're getting paid you yourself have to do some more of like due diligence or actually be careful if you are spiritual pray about it because you have seen issues like the one that happened with the christ embassy you know that kind of situation whereby this person is known to be a church person and all that and in the end people were defrauded of their money but this is a comment someone said here um anake
Anake Santos said here that this man came with so much motivational speech. He uses men of God. He was using scriptures, using people's money for philanthropy work. Guys must be very careful. Wow. Because people knew him then. I never knew him. Maybe because I don't really use Facebook that much. If you're watching me on Facebook, don't think I am always on Facebook every time. I don't even have that time. Someone really actually helps me handle my Facebook page. So when you see the, the videos on Facebook, I am not the one posting them, but I have someone that I really, really appreciate for the help in doing that because I have to focus on what is happening here on YouTube because I've not even handled all the <laughs> courses I'm getting here on YouTube. But is it for me to come on Facebook and be arguing with you people? No. <laughs> and then someone here now says here, yeah, Nigerians to learn their lessons and stop seeking for high interest investments. There are scams cause no genuine business will ever give you such returns. For what now? I pray my people will not die for heartbreak. That chin mark man has murdered sleep and shall never know peace in his life. Wow. The blood of those he defrauded will continue to torment him. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. And one thing also that came out was that the Securities Exchange Commission themselves released a statement and said that he is not registered. The Finn mark and then the chin mark group is not registered with them. So they don't. They are advising people not to associate with anything that has to do with them. And that was as at December 2021. But this particular group had been in operation since 2019, as I could see right here on from the post on their platform. So you can imagine, how can such an organization or such a group be operating and having branches in Nigeria and Enugu here and there? And yet still, they were not registered with the Securities Exchange Commission and they were into some form of exchange. Now, I could look at the things they were doing. They were into hotel building and all that. What if they could just go to a place that are doing building construction, stand in front of there and make a video? Who knows? And right now, we are talking about people's monies, hard-earned monies invested. Now, you make we know they trust ourselves, oh, Nigerians. If tomorrow now, other Nigerian now get better mind, where we say, won't come do something. How you go take trust down with this kind of experience? And then someone else here now said, um, let's see how this will end. Let's see how this will end. Silently, this man and his cohorts have ruined and destroyed a lot of souls. If governments cannot do anything, God is watching from a distance. No peace for the wicked, says the holy book. Wow, that was actually an interesting comment by someone. Now, people are really, really reacting to this particular situation because I think it really touched um, people a lot. And then someone here now said the simple way they operate is by using religious beliefs. They will post pictures of them helping the poor. You will see them in front of the church pulpit every Sunday praying. This makes people to believe in them. And that is very true because, you see, when I make videos about things happening in church and all that, people say, oh, you are not bringing unity in the body of Christ. You are criticizing. But these are things read on social media and I'm trying to help you think. Sometimes the reason why I do the things the way I do is that if I want to say something, because I am not someone that has a reference point in your head, you don't know me, I don't know you, most of you are not even interested in knowing you. <laughs> you understand? I bring the people you know and I add volume to the things I have said because they are saying what I would want to say. But since if I want to say it, you will not believe me, you will listen to a voice that I think their name makes reference to your head and then they can tell you the things I would want to tell you. So people that come on my comment section and tell me that I, I am I am trying to push a certain narrative or or I, I only, pro, of course, on my platform, I will only promote my own narrative. So if I find my narrative being said somewhere, I add volume to it. What is the point of you watching Be Real George? The name of this channel is not whatever. The name is named after me. So, of course, I'll post things that I support. I will not be posting something that I don't support. Let's, let's, let's get that very clear. I don't know if you understand because looking at this right now, it is very very disheartening but you could tell me what you think in the comments about this whole chain mark group situation because a lot of people are really 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 sad about the situation monies have been spent this is running into billions chain mark group ceo sir wherever you are how do you sleep at night please can you tell us come out and tell your people it's not about deactivating the comment section on your facebook page that is even verified <laughs> god the page is verified though with a tick eh it's not about that though how do you sleep at night knowing that you have put people through this particular kind of situation i don't know how you people do it but man nigerians be very careful 
be very very careful don't believe everything you see on social media when are they talk am una no they hear una da no una da no don't believe everything on social media you don't hear I'm so bad run later see you in my next video